I'm thinking that within six months, we will see an example of wearable devices that actually become useful. Uh, we saw so much promise about how wearable devices were going to give us continuous monitoring and they were going to give us so many data points that the enterprise would be jumping over themselves to incorporate it into their offerings. That never really materialized. We see so much wearable technology that it looks cool, but it ends up in a drawer or it ends up that we continue to use it, but it's not really providing any data to anyone except us. I think that's going to change within six months. And here's, here's follow my reasoning. The one that's going to change at the category is the medical wearables. There's two companies right now that are doing fantastic things. The first one is Medtronic. They're working with Fitbit to make a constant blood sugar monitor and pH Vitality, which is a French company that we saw at CES. And they've made a, uh, an internet, well, a connected device that does, can do constant glucose monitoring with, uh, without any pain of a pinprick. I mean, it does, but it doesn't hit the subcutaneous layer. Uh, I mean, the, uh, the nerve layer, so it doesn't cause any pain. So you can check your blood sugar as many times as you want during the day and you don't feel anything all for less than the cost of testing strips. We all know how big diabetes, how big of a problem diabetes is here in this country. I think the money is there and that's what's gonna finally force it. You're gonna have customers who realize that a constant monitoring solution is so much better for their health and so much better for their doctor's knowledge that you're finally gonna find a couple of companies that say, yeah, this, this should be it. And they're supposed to release in second quarter of 2016, which is why I'm okay with saying this is a short term and not a year long prediction. Shebert, what do you think? I'm type two diabetic. I want it to happen. So I'm going to say yes, just because I want it to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, uh, actually Brian um, uh, Burnett here in the studio. He's the same way. He's a, he's a type two type one diabetic. And he said, I just, I mean, I don't, I just want it. I mean, this is the first piece of technology that I've actually wanted to use because it will make my life better without a doubt. Uh, Lou, what about it? Yeah, I think I think you're on spot. I think I think I've seen I've actually been to some local, um, you know, maker fairs and and some of the research facilities around the area, and a lot of them are doing, especially medical, like you were saying, they're adapting. G G Medical, especially, is doing a lot of these things as well. And I think I think you're right. I think it, they're on the precipice of 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 getting to that point where people are going to start using them, and the people are going to want them more and more because they know the technology is there. Yep. Um, so I, I'm going to give you a yes. Yeah, thanks. And uh, what about it, Curtis? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say yes for a couple of reasons. The first is, again, the I want the medical side. I, I also am type 2. My son is a type 1 diabetic. Uh, I see the kind of devices he wears. He, he has to wear a pair of devices. Yeah. Uh, one is the uh, CGM, or constant glucose monitor, on one side of his body, the uh, insulin pump on the other. If he could somehow spare himself uh, a, a cannula stick every week, yeah. I think that would be a wonderful thing. The other reason I'm going to say yes is, um, well, this. Um, I'm wearing a, an Apple Watch Series 2. I have been since the holidays, and I have been frankly stunned at how rapidly it has become an important part of my computing ecosystem. Um, I now uh, use it as the primary way that I get uh, text messages. Uh, one of the main ways in which I get social media messages and even work email. Uh, I take phone calls on my watch. Um, they really are becoming useful in their own right. And as you say, we're probably just one good killer app away from uh, from a major surge in them. Right. I mean, because after that first rush of so much promise and then so di little delivery, the money is there. We know the money is there. I mean, we look at Apple, we know the money is there. All that it's going to take is one business, one enterprise finally comes through with that breakthrough device and you have an insurance company who says, oh, right. Yeah, we're going to pay for this because this is this is going to save us money with our customers in the long run. And suddenly, all of that promise about wearable tech becomes real. All right, so we're all unanimous on that, and we're probably all going to be disappointed. I bet it's not going to happen in six months. Oh, well.